What's good out there guys? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a brand new retro duplication glitch. All right. It's very simple, super easy to do. It can be a little inconsistent at times. Okay. I'll admit, but if you follow my steps precisely, you should have no trouble. Okay. Now it took me a few times to hit it, but like I said, follow these steps precisely and you should have no problems whatsoever. Now, shout out to Killer Gaming, Obese Giraffe, and Gaming with Irish Demon for coming up with this one. You're going to need a bunker, an MOC, one friend, an RH8 inside your MOC, and then on Xbox, you want to be in a free aim session. I recommend being in a closed friend session, nice and easy. So a free aim session on Xbox, have another friend in assisted aim to join off of because you're going to need that charging mode alert. You do not need custom plates, and obviously you want a Benny's vehicle to duplicate like this retro custom that you see right here. If you're on Xbox, you can skip forward to 742. Here's a timestamp. So I will be doing the glitch literally on Xbox and PS4. Right now it's on PS4. Xbox guys skip to 742 for the Xbox tutorial. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is my friend BMX, shout out to BMX for helping me. He's in a closed friend session, all right? He's gonna go ahead and send me an invite, all right? And I'm gonna accept that invite and go into his session. It must be that way. Don't join in, just have him send you an invite. He needs to be the host and he sends you an invite, okay? So this is how I got the glitch to work perfectly fine. So now that he has sent me an invite uh, to his session, he's gonna go ahead and invite me into his bunker. Now he's gonna grab the car that he has in his bunker or in his MOC, which is this one. And we're gonna go ahead and drive to the back of his MOC. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get a recent activity ready to go. OK, so I'm going to go over to my own recent activities and I'm going to find one that says start GTA online. Pretty sure this one, when you get inked, you know, get tattoos, it will have one. OK, so start GTA online, double tap the PS button. I'm going to tell him press right D pad right when my screen turns black, double tap the PS button, start GTA online and decline the alert. If you did it correctly, you should see him entering his MOC. You will get out of the car. Everything will be invisible default bunker and you actually should be kicked out, okay? So that is exactly how you want it to go. That timing, it's, it's. I wouldn't say it's tricky, it's definitely trickier on Xbox, but on PlayStation, just do it right when the black screen comes up, you know, double tap, start GTA Online, uh, start GTA Online and decline the alert. Do it that way and you should have no problems. So you're gonna get kicked out of the default bunker. What you wanna do right here is sign in as a CEO and call up a buzzard. You can, you know, sign in as a motorcycle club president and call up your oppressor if you really want to. Either way, it doesn't really matter. You just want to get back to your own bunker. OK, you're always going to come out of that default bunker that's right there on the map. So farmhouse is a really good location. It's pretty close by. So once you land and you're back over here, sign out of your MC or your CEO, whichever one you are. Make sure you sign out and then go ahead and call up your mechanic. And this is when you're going to want to call up your LG Retro Custom or whatever Benny's vehicle you're duplicating. Now, remember, we're calling up the LG Retro Custom because that one will sell for the most. Still to this day, that car sells for almost $1 million when duplicated. Uh, that is the best deal you're going to get. OK, so here we go. It's right over here. This one's not fully, fully upgraded, but it is modded. Uh, so I wanted to keep it like a clean, fresh look, which is why you see it looking like this. But you will have yours fully modified up. All right. so. Now, oh yeah, and by the way, your friend needed to leave the session, okay? My bad, I should have said that, but your friend right now is, has left the session. Once you get kicked out of the default bunker, you tell your friend to leave the session. Go to creator, go to story mode, all right? So BMX is not in this, uh, is not in the session right now whatsoever, all right? I should have said that about 30 seconds ago. But yeah, so you're gonna drive into your bunker and you're gonna get caught on an infinite black loading screen like you see right here, okay? So infinite black loading screen. Now, once you're on this infinite loading screen, you're gonna double tap the PS button, start detail line on that recent, decline the alert, and now you'll be able to see. Now, what you wanna do is go ahead and drive to your MOC, wait for that blue circle to come back. Now we're gonna hit right D-pad, and then remember, we have an RH8 in there. So we're gonna go ahead and accept the transfer alert, because we're gonna get the, the full alert, because there is an RH8 in there. And you're gonna get hit with, an, uh, with another infinite black loading screen. Now, once you get on this one, a recent activity won't do the trick. What you need to do is tell your friend to actually come back into the session. So you remember how I said after you got kicked out of the default bunker, you want your friend to leave the session. Now you want him to join back. Since we're in a close friend session, he can just go through the party and join us right back. And that's what he's going to do. So once he joins you back, you're going to get kicked off of that black screen and you're going to be on this screen. Go ahead and go to jobs, Rockstar created and start up a Titan of a job. OK, start up a Titan of a job and we're going to load up into the lobby screen. Nice and simple. 
what you want to then do is simply back out. So once we're done zooming in right here into the lobby, we're going to simply press circle, confirm that, and back out. Now we're going to spawn back in the bunker invisible for a second. And as you can see in the bottom left, BMX joined back. All right. So now just walk out of your bunker and you actually will see the car that you duplicated. Okay. You will see the full dupe right there. It will have a brand new plate. I don't know if you guys saw in the original car I pulled out, but it had a roll easy custom plate on it. Now this one will have a brand new generic plate. As you can see, the car is like started out there. It's all glitched out. So once I get in here, I will have a brand new generic plate right there. There it is. So this is your brand new duplicate. Now we need to save the actual, you know, dupe. So the way that we save it is you want to go ahead and call up your MOC right now. So open up the interaction menu, go to mobile operation center and request the MOC. I know that there's a spawn point literally right down the road from this bunker. This bunker just has great location. It's a great location. There's, you know, flat land in front of it. There's a spawn point right next to it. So now we're going to go ahead and drive over to the MOC, but we're not actually going to go into it. So don't drive into it right now. You don't save it at this point. All right. So once I drive over here, I'm going to go ahead and get out. You know, you got to park the car a little bit away or else you'll lose the blue circle. So. I'm gonna go ahead and just walk into my MOC. And what's actually gonna happen is you're gonna spawn in your friend's MOC. This is why we're walking in first instead of just driving in. So you see that? I spawn in BMX's uh, MOC. So <laughs> there he is just standing on his car. What you wanna do is just simply exit out of his MOC and you wanna run back outside over to your car, okay? That's just to get that little part out of the way so that it's not glitched out anymore. That's what happens when you kind of merge the, uh, the bunkers and the MOCs and stuff like that. So I'm simply going to run out of his bunker and I'm going to run back over to my car. And this is where we're actually going to be saving the dupe. OK, so the dupe is still going to be there. There's a tracker on it. It's just not fully saved. The game still recognizes it as an RH8 right now since it's still outside. But now I can go ahead and grab the car, press right D-pad behind my MOC and it goes straight in. As you can see, there was no full alert. That's because this is the RH8 right up until we drive it in. Now it's no longer an RH8. It is a full, fully duped LG Retro Custom, fully saved. This one probably doesn't sell for over a million or close to a million dollars, but it still sells for a lot of money. Like I said, yours would be fully, fully upgraded. OK, so now we're about to get into the Xbox version of this. I actually went on Xbox and I did the glitch on there. So I'm not saying it's an Xbox tutorial while I'm on PlayStation. No, this is literally fully on Xbox. I did the glitch on both consoles because I wanted to show you the timing. It's always that timing in the very beginning with, you know, targeting mode. That's going to be tricky. OK, so. We're going to switch over to Xbox right now. So now that we're on Xbox, remember, I'm in my own session. My friend is going to send me an invite into his close friend session. OK, he's the host. He's going to send me an invite and I'm going to go ahead and accept it. All right. So now I'm up in the clouds and I will be joining in momentarily. OK, so now I'm in his friends only session that he is the host of. He started it up. He shot me an invite. There we go. That's the point we're at now. So he's going to go ahead and send me an invite into his bunker or his MOC in the bunker doesn't really matter. All right. So I accepted it. Now we should spawn. I believe that was an MOC invite. So we're going to be spawning in his MOC. He needs a car inside of his mobile operations center ready to go. He's got an RH8. We're just going to both hop in it and we're going to simply drive out. All right. So like I said, you don't have to get invited into the bunker only. It just, you know, it could be MOC, could be bunker, whatever. All right. So now here's the tricky part on Xbox, joining a friend in another charging mode. Remember, we're in free aim right now. OK, so at this point, have your friend drive to the back of their MOC. You need to get ready to have a friend in another targeting mode. OK, I'm in free aim. I know I got a few people in assisted aim here, so I'm going to go ahead and find somebody in assisted aim. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to get ready to tell him to press right D pad. OK, so I'm ready to join game right when I start spamming on join game. I'm going to say hit it, you know, hit right D pad. OK, so here we go. Spam and spam and join or I was like right D pad, right D pad. Hurry up. Except the first layer decline the second. Boom. See that a perfect timing right there. He was going up into the MOC and then I got kicked out of the car. He's in his MOC. I'm in the default bunker and now I just got kicked out. OK, so just like the uh, the other method or just like the, you know, the way to do it on PS4. Once I get kicked out of the default bunker here, tell your friend to leave the session. Go to creator, go to story mode, just leave the session and then you head back over to your bunker. That's where we're at right now. So I'm going to sign out of my motorcycle club or CEO, whatever I'm in, and I'm going to go ahead and call up my mechanic and I'm going to call up an LG Retro Custom. This one is fully modified, sells for almost a million dollars, and I have a custom plate on it, but I'm just going to show it to you because that plate will change. I'll get a generic plate. Remember, I have an RH8 inside my own MOC. 
So I'm going to drive into my own bunker, and this is where you're going to get caught on an infinite black loading screen. This is the first of a few infinite loading screens. This one, you need that friend in another targeting mode again, because you're going to have to join him and then accept the first alert to climb the second. So here we go. I'm going to join that same friend that I know is an assisted aim. And then there we go. I got session details, accept the first alert, decline the second alert. There we go. I'm off the black screen. Now I can simply drive over to my MOC and wait for that alert or wait for the blue circle to come back because alerts kind of take it away for a little bit. So here we go. I can press right D pad. I have an RH8 in the MOC. That's why I got the full alert. You want to accept that. Now we got hit with, with another infinite black loading screen. Tell your friend to join you back through the gamer card or, you know, whatever. Just that's why we're doing close friend session. So he's joining me back through the gamer card. Right when he joins the session again, you get kicked off of that black screen and stuck on this little frozen animation. So this is where you go ahead and start up a Titan of a job, just like we did in the other, uh, you know, method on PS4. So starting up a Titan of a job and we're going to load into the lobby and simply back out. So you see guys, this glitch is not crazy difficult whatsoever. It's just that timing in the beginning that can be tricky. Uh, so we're in the lobby right now. I'm gonna back out. I should spawn back in the bunker, invisible for a few seconds, and then there we go. So I actually just fast forward through here, but look at those MOCs. They're completely like glitched out and duplicated. That didn't happen on PS4, but it happened on Xbox for some reason. So now I'm just gonna run out of my bunker and once I've run out of my bunker, I should have the car, the duplicated car with the brand new cus or with the brand new generic plate outside there waiting for me. There it is right there. And I'm going to go ahead and hop into it. And you will see. Remember, I had a, I think it was a virus plate on it before. Now, look what I have. That's a brand new generic plate that is good to go. Fresh, clean duplicate. I'm going to go ahead and request my MOC. Once I've requested it, I'm just going to drive over to it. And here we go. All right. So. I have a modded MOC. I was just kind of showing it off there. Remember, get out of your retro and you're going to walk into your MOC on foot. Okay, walk in there on foot. Do not try to save it right away. You walk in on foot and you're going to spawn in your friend's MOC. All right, so just simply walk out of his MOC and run out of his bunker. All right, you're going to run out of his bunker and you're running back over to your car outside. And this is where we proceed to actually save the vehicle. All right, so simple glitch, guys, really nothing crazy. So I'm going to get into my retro right here. That's, you know, still the duplicated one, but the game still recognizes it as an RH8. So I'm going to simply just drive over to my MOC, hit right D-pad. I shouldn't get a full alert or anything because this is the car that was duplicated over. And there we go. The car is saved. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just showed you the same glitch on two different consoles so that you guys could have, you know, both perspectives nice and easy. This is what I like about being a dual console YouTuber. That I can do this. I'll always show love to both consoles, man. That's why I got both of them. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out, everybody, and have a great day.